Okay, so uh, today we're going to be looking at getting kind of that VHS effect that I was talking about. And before we do that, we have to start with a cup of coffee. I have uh, three children, and uh, I'm not all there at the moment. I can't can't say that uh, I'm super sharp. Um, so what we're going to do first is get uh, let's see let's get a let's get a photo of Fanagram. They're uh, a band I've done work for in the past, and uh, I think they're really good. And they'd be a fun photo to uh, work with. So let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and snag this guy right here. This is kind of washed out. I don't know if this is the best candidate, but okay, let's paste this into Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we have to make three copies. See, what I do is whenever I start a, a design project, what I do is uh, keep the original. So if you want to uh, duplicate this layer, the shortcut is Command-J. And we're going to duplicate this three times. So I have the original right here. Um, but we're going to do <clears throat> first, so we're going to go into levels. So what you could do is uh, Command L. And we're going to first start with, uh, actually, I'm sorry, first, we're going to take each one of these layers and we are going to set them to exclusion. So you can do that uh, just in your layers, layer effects. So set all of these to exclusion. Let's see. Exclusion. Okay, so this looks insane. Um, we'll have that in the back. Okay. So we're going to hit Command L. And then we're going to go to uh, blue. We're going to set this all the way to output zero. Okay, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go to green. We're going to do output zero. So you can sense a, a theme here. Then we're going to go to red. Then we're going to do output zero. And then, um, so what I'll do is duplicate these, put them in a group. So the way you put these in a group, I, I just want to back up uh, from before when I emerge. So you do command G for a group. And uh, we'll just set the opacity to zero. We'll drag that down there. Let's call that back up. Okay. So we've got this. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move these around a little bit. And so we're going to take that top one and we're going to move that, you know, however you see fit. So you could do like, uh, I do shift arrow just to do, like every time you do shift and arrow, that's 10 pixels. So, you know, maybe do that once. Take the red, go to the right once, and then the blue, maybe to the right three or you know twice, something like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna merge these layers. Then see what we have to do is when you merge these, it takes away the uh, blending effect. So what we have to do is take the new layer that's created and bring it back to exclusion. And so we're back to where we started, which is a good thing. And we're going to bump this down to like, I'd say 70%. All right, good. So what you can do, it's totally up to you. This is more of a stylistic thing. But you get your marquee tool. Uh, you can just hit M on your keyboard. And you can grab a portion of an image. So let's see. Actually, let's pull up the ruler. Let's do Command R. Let's break this up into different sections. Th these aren't very precise or anything like that. I'm just trying to just trying to get some sort of guideline for this. So at any rate, we're gonna get the marquee tool, make sure that you're on the kind of like the VHS layer that we created. I'm going to uh, select that area, do uh, control, click, right click, I guess if you're on a PC. Then uh, you're going to do, you could do either two different things. You could either do lay, layer versus, uh, I'm sorry, via cut, which it actually will cut this layer. 
Um, so it prevents you from having to go through the steps of like cutting it and pasting it back into place. Personally, I just do copy and that way it doesn't alter the original image. And so you might move that over a couple to the right and you can do, uh, let's see, do a copy. Huh, that's really weird. What's it doing? Gotcha, okay. Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. You have to go back and select the, the original layer. That's why it didn't work. Okay, there we go. Gonna move that over a little bit to the right. Go back up here. Via copy. So I'm just kind of staggering it. I'm just doing, um, you know, one to the left, one to the right, because we're gonna we're gonna actually liquefy it here in a moment. Let's see, copy. Okay, so you could see her eyes are kind of messed up, and and you know, obviously that could be an effect you want to go for. But we 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 have total control over whether we're going to let that happen. Obviously, if it's a band photo, you want to be able to see their face. So, at any rate, what we're going to do is uh, let's make one backup of this. So turn that layer off, and then we're going to merge all of these layers. Same thing again, we have to go back to the blending effects and uh, your palette option Go and bring it back to exclusion. So from here, what we're gonna do is go to uh, filter. We're gonna do liquify. And so this is, I'm not an expert at liquify tool by any means. I mean, there are people that do this all day long, but uh, personally, I, I find that setting the brush pressure to uh, be a lot uh, less sensitive kind of helped. So this is kind of going to, so I'm gonna make the brush kind of kind of bigger. Let's see. I'm gonna go to the right and I'm gonna go to the left on that part. So I'm kind of following the, the stagger that I had going on. Okay, then I'm gonna hit okay. So that's kind of intense. I think I'm gonna undo this and go ahead and, um, let's see, seven. I mean, you, you can make something work with this, but personally, I, I think that's a little intense. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go back to liquefy and I'm gonna set the pr uh, brush pressure to be even lower. So we just want this to really be kind of more of a subtle, a subtle thing. And this may even be too much. Exclusion. Okay, so, I mean, you, you can see kind of the effect. Um, and from here you could you know, go as crazy as you want. That was one of the big concerns I had was there's not a lot of uh, things going on in this image because it's kind of washed out. They've got like the overexposure thing going on. But um, another thing too to kind of top off and kind of make this look uh, a lot cooler would be to throw in like a, a noise layer. So what you do is you go to your color palette, go to gray, you can choose any gray you want. Hit G for your paint bucket, set your opacity to 50%, fill the new layer go to filter, go to noise, go to add noise, and you can play with the levels, but uh, I like to get it real grainy if it's uh, something like this. Leave the distribution to uniform so that it has a nice pattern to it. Hit okay. Thing with this is that if you zoom in real close, this is nothing but a bunch of uh, patterned colored pixels that you know take on the effect of grain. 
So we don't want that extra color introduced into it. So what we're going to do with that layer selected is we're going to hold down, um, you know, control shift or command shift and uh, U. And uh, what that's going to do is take the color out of it, make it more like an actual photographic green. And then what we're going to do from there is hit overlay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so now you have that nice, uh, nice filter going on. So you can you can see that green. It's real subtle, but uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of subtlety. There you go. And one thing too that could be done is if you duplicate this layer, this uh, VHS layer, hit J, go to Filter, go to Other, then go to High Pass. And what you can do is uh, kind of sharpen it, which is kind of nice. I want to just throw it in here. Let's see. Let's. Let's bring it to that, Let's see what it does. We don't want that to be. And so I'll show you what this looks like when you turn it off. Um, which one's which? Oh, I did, uh, okay. That's confusing. Okay, let's do, where's that? Filter other high pass. That's super sharp. You can see all the lines. You, you can go overboard with this, obviously, but um, <clears throat> so at any rate, you could you could kind of see like if you zoom in on the eyes. You know, it, uh, I'm sorry, sharpens things a bit. Real subtle. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is to kind of uh, marry this uh, image with the original is we're going to group this. We'll call this VHS effect grain. And then what we're going to do is put a mask on it. So I, I want to be able to see her eyes a little bit better. That's kind of kind of crazy. So we're going to put a mask on that group. We're going to hit the eraser tool. So it's just E. And um, so we've got the opacity set to 47%. That's fine. We can um, kind of make it a little less obvious. Do something like that. And you're good. So kind of brings our eyes back in, but you don't you don't kind of lose some of that effect. So at any rate, um, that's essentially all there is to know about this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, um, subscribe if you want to keep up with any uh, new videos that I come out with. Uh, suggest more videos if you'd like a particular video for me to do. Uh, feel free to add a suggestion. I've done several of those that were strictly on suggestions. So. Hope you like and um, have a great day.